Hello everyone, this is Curtis from Flowrita.io and today I'm going to talk to you about how to get started working with FCS flow cytometry files. Flowrita.io is a completely free to use online flow cytometry analysis tool. To get started working with it, go to Flowrita.io in any web browser. Once you're on the home page, click the start button. That'll bring you over to the analysis page. Once you're there, go to the File menu and select Open Files. That will open up a menu where you can select any FCS file on your computer to open for analysis. We have a few test files here. I'm going to just select this first one and hit Open. you'll see a couple of things happen. First, on the far left-hand panel, we see a number of options that we're able to select, including different gates, statistics, compensation, and clustering options. Next to that, we have a list of our currently open FCS files grouped by their project name, with the currently active file being highlighted in blue. Right now, we just have the one file open. If the FCS file we just opened had a spillover matrix included in it to use for compensation, that would also be displayed. We will talk more about compensation in a later video. On the right side, we have a dot plot with forward scatter on the X axis and side scatter on the Y axis. At the bottom, we have the event count for the file, the number of parameters in the file, and the current number of off-screen events. That last one is useful to tell us if we may need to adjust the axes. The first thing we'll talk about is how to select a specific parameter for an axis. To change the parameter displayed on the x-axis, just click on the current parameter name. That will open up a menu with all the parameters within the file, and we can select the one we'd like to see on the x-axis. I'm going to select this one. You can do the same on the y-axis. If we'd like to see the data displayed as a histogram, we can go over to the y-axis parameter and click that. You'll notice that all the parameters that are on the x-axis are there, as well as a histogram option at the bottom. If we select that one, we'll see the data as a histogram. I'm going to put it back how we originally had it. If we'd like to adjust the scaling of the axis, we can just select the axis itself. That brings up the Adjust Axis menu. From there, we can select from multiple transforms for the axis, including linear, logical, logarithmic, and hyperlog. I'm going to keep it on linear for now. You can also adjust the min and the max for the axis. You can see that we get a preview histogram to help us select the most appropriate axis for the data. You can also just type in the number that you'd like. Once you're happy, you can click apply. You can see that our x-axis has shifted on the dot plot. Now let's open up some more files. I'm going to select all of these. You can see that all of our files are now open in the project panel. If you want to see a different file displayed, you can just click the name. You can also cycle between different files by using the arrow icons at the top, as well as the arrow keys on your keyboard. If you want to close a file, you can either right-click on the file and hit delete, or press the delete key on your keyboard. Lastly, if you'd like to see the keywords that are contained within your FCS file, 
you can select the file that you'd like to see and then click the Keywords option. That will display a list of all keywords in the file as well as their values. That's all we have for you today. Hopefully you have an idea of the basics of working with FCS files with Clorita.io. If you have any questions, comments, or any features you'd like to see us add, feel free to go to the contact page on Florida.io and send us a message. Thanks for watching.